friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Justice for All. My name's Skinny Mini. And I'm Pharaoh. Last episode, we um, tried to stall as long as we could. Um, didn't really work since Power's testimony kind of justified that Matt on guard was the guy talking to the assassin. So that didn't really help. And then during recess, uh, uh, Maya got M Mia to tell us where they were at, at least where, she, where Maya was during her in her surroundings. So Gumshoe is on his way there to try and find her. So hopefully they do. Other than that, we still got a stall. Yeah, you, yeah that's pretty much the gist of it. Yeah, that's the abridged version. Okay, now <laughs> we're reconvening court. Let's do this. All right. The court will not reconvene. The killer, the man who murdered the victim, handed this to his client. From this, one obvious question arises. Why this particular item? I believe the answer to that question will provide us with the name of the real criminal. Now then, the prosecution calls the defendant's manager, Adrian Andrews, to the stand. Oh boy. Currently, the witness is accused of tampering of an obstruction of justice. However, you have been called to the witness stand today to ascertain who exactly is guilty of murder. I understand. Very good. Now, have you ever seen this bear before, Miss Andrews? Of course I have. You've seen it before? That's right. It's only natural the witness has. Miss Andrews, could you please enlighten the court to this bear's secrets? All right. Why... why does she... Yeah, why does she know? Hmm. This is weird. <coughs> well, I guess we're about to find out right now. Actually, this is an elaborate puzzle. If you know the correct order, it can be taken apart one piece at a time. At its center is a small cavity, just with just enough room to store a small item. Because of its complexity, if you don't know the order, you can't open the bear. You really can't tell that it's a small jewelry box just by looking at it. It's a jewelry box? Why would she know all that? Yeah, that's kind of weird. So it is figuring it's a container of sorts, is it? Yes. Looks can be deceiving. Wouldn't you agree? Well, yes, this is superb craftsmanship. Oh, yes, I nearly forgot. You may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. How do you forget? <sighs> it's the judge. <laughs> It looks like there was really something to that bear after all. Bear. B bear. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what you uh, want to do? <laughs> what we're gonna do? We're gonna have to press on all her statements. Ah. Uh, I know. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's get out of the way then. A puzzle? <laughs> oh, excuse me, a puzzle? <laughs> That's right. Slip the tongue. Hmm, but it looks like an ordinary figurine. Not true enough. To people who don't know, I'm sure they would never guess this was a puzzle. So what kind of puzzle is this exactly? If you know the correct order, blah blah blah. It can be taken out one piece at a time. What? So you can take it apart? How would you go how would one go about doing that? Well, you first turn its tail to the right, then push it in. Oh, yes, I see. After that, the arms and legs are free to move and can be removed. Oh, oh <laughs> this is most interesting. <laughs> A boy in his new toy. It's like he's five all over again. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. Go ahead and carry on. I think he's lost it. You think? He lost it a long time ago. <laughs> So what do, you, what, do you, what do you find after you take this puzzle apart? Okay, the center is a storeroom, so let's get information on that. And how do you know about this? I know because I was the one who brought it. Bought it. Huh? It was a souvenir from a friend when I went to Switzerland. Then this, this was a present from you? That's right. It was a puzzle in the shape of a bear, so I thought it would be perfect for one. So it was a present from Miss Andrews. 
Witness, let's continue with your testimony. That's weird. So, hmm. if you don't know the order, you can't open the bear. So, who exactly knew how to open- how to solve this puzzle? Only the two of us, Juan and myself. It was a souvenir from Switzerland, so I doubt there are that many people in this- with the same bear in this country. But this looks like it can be easily broken! Especially if someone wanted to get what was inside! Oh, that- <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, Here it's again. a toy. But it can never be the same once again. Uh, again, once it's broken. Hmm, that's interesting. So you really can't tell that it's a small jewelry box just by looking at it. Okay, what? Who else knows that this bear is actually a small container or jewelry box? I never told anyone. And as long as Juan never told anyone either, then only the two of us knew. The two, the two of you, huh? Then of course that means Mr. Ankar didn't know, right? <sighs> I think this is about all I'm gonna get for her or Dang get for now. It. Well, that was uh, I don't know. That was kind of weird. Sure. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, I think even you have come to realize, hmm. That there's one very important fact we have uncovered, and that is this. This bear is actually a jewelry box. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Deep in thought. I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> now that we have agreed to this point, there is only one logical question that can come next, and that is this. What is inside this box? <gasps> oh. What's inside? That's right. That's what we are going to find out next, Witness. Yes? You are the only one who can open this. Please. Oh... I mean, I have an idea what could be in there, but... Well, there's a painful silence hanging over the courtroom. That's so weird. All eyes are... All eyes on Miss Andrews now as she solves the puzzles and, and takes the bear apart. Why is that hard sense for me? Click. <gasps> it opened! I've opened it. Is this what you wanted? What is that? It looks like a, a, a note. I don't think we need to guess at what that is. Do we, Mr. Wright? It's a suicide note. A suicide note? A suicide note left by Juan Corita's former manager, Celeste Impacts. Until now, no one knew of its whereabouts, but just as we suspected, it was hidden. Hidden by the victim, Juan Corita himself. Hmm. Oh. It seems Celeste Impacts has a very beautiful handwriting, and she just as beautifully signed her own name on this document. This is most definitely the note she had left right before she committed suicide. Oh my gosh! Order! Witness! Did you know about this? Yes, I did. I heard all about it from Juan. When I discovered his body, I looked for the bear. I wanted to destroy the note before it became public. But I couldn't find it anywhere. Because it had already been taken by the killer. Everything is going at Mr. Edgeworth's pace. So now that the suicide note has been found, what's the next logical question? What's written on the note? That's right. At least that's what I would have think. Now then, I believe it's only appropriate the contents of this note being made known. I can't stop you, can I? I went through nope. so much. <laughs> Just to get my hands on it. And I was going to burn it for her sake. I'm deeply sorry, but I can't allow you to persuade me to stop. Your Honor, if you could please read the contents of this note aloud. Very well. Why does the judge have to read it? Like, oh, this is juicy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the judge's voice rang loud and clear through the dead silent courtroom. In her note, Celeste and Pax left to us a record of all that had happened to her. About being used and then thrown away by on guard. About being engaged to Corita, and then guard's role in destroying that. 
and about how she decided in her despair to end it all. Yeah, and that's all Miss Impacts had to say. Oh my god, how could you not be guilty? There is one thing I would like to say here. The prosecution has no interest in slandering Mr. On Guard. Then... what? Our intention, Your Honor, is to establish a motive for murder. Is not correct, witness? Yes. On the night of the murder, Juan was going to make the contents of her note public. After the post-ceremony show. He was going to hold a press conference. My word. Mad on Guard Valley is above all else his refreshing like a spring breeze image, which is why he had to stop this note from being made public. At any cost. Well, that's... he's such a jerk, then. Oh, we already knew all that. Ugh. Especially what's going on now. It's on God's fault that woman killed herself! And this time, he even went so far as to kill himself and to stop him from revealing that! How terrible! What a selfish person! I guess there are only slime boy lawyers out there who will defend these creeps, too. <laughs> Why did we do that again? I don't know! <laughs> There is no margin for doubt here. Mr. DeKiller's client goal is to obtain the suicide note. And the only person who needed this note that badly is the defendant. Let's not forget that the bear with the note inside was found at the defendant's house. It seems we have come to the truth at last. The defendant's motives were entirely selfish. He deserves no sympathy from anyone. How am I supposed to escape from this one? Why the hesitation, Phoenix? Gumshoe hasn't called yet, so you know what you must do. I know. I have to carry on and buy him some more time. Okay, there are two deadly pieces of evidence here. The figurine and the suicide note. Maybe somehow I can find a way out of the situation through one of those. The gavel is already in the judge's hand. Phoenix, hurry! The suicide, the suicide note or figurine? Which one should I pursue? Uh. Pick, pick, pick! I hurry! I don't know which one! I don't know! Hurry! Uh, uh, Life or death! I guess the note. Okay. Objection. Please wait, Your Honor. Oh, God. Oh, man, look at that lawyer. He's still going at it? It's like he doesn't care that he's trying to get a killer off the hook. I think your honor believes that Manangar killed in order to obtain this note. Yes, that is correct. But that seems a little strange. In fact, I think there's a uh, contradiction here. Hmm. This note was hidden by Mr. Corita until the night of the murder. If that's the case, I see Mr. Manangar Man could not have known what was written on this note. Oh, I didn't think of it that way. Exactly. But I did think of it that way, and I thought of it was I thought it was rather strange. No one in their right mind would kill for a note without first knowing what it said. Unless they're stupid. <laughs> order, order, order! You make a valid point, Mr. Wright. Miss Edgeworth, what is your opinion? It was just a flash, but I think I did rather well on this one. Uh-oh. Unfortunately. I think he believes differently. Mia, how come you're reading Phoenix's mind? That was in blue. I, I, I you know, it happens all the time in, in the series. It's like they shouldn't know what we're saying, but apparently they know. But I guess it's because she's dead. I don't know. But Maya can do the same thing. That's true. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> I believe a show of appreciation is in order. Huh? <laughs> The defense seems to be in love with wishing more despair upon itself. Is this Dang and Rampa all of a sudden? What? The whole despair thing. Oh! <laughs> I haven't played it, so I don't... I don't oh, okay. So, oops. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would like to direct the court's attention to this. What is that? It's a very small video camera, Your Honor. This type of camera is commonly used as a means of spying. Spying? What the? You thought that spy camera was in my possession? Yeah, hold up. Oh wait, yeah, I'm gonna check right now. Hold on a minute. Yeah, it's like wait a minute. Well, it is in our possession. What? How do 
do you have it, dude? Did you, did you just buy another one? Oh my gosh. Okay, then. Bad on guard and the victim both both thought of the, as, of the other as their biggest rival. They even went so far as to use this type of item to find each other's weaknesses. And... The victim, Juan Carita, was being spied on. His personal life was being watched by none other than Mad on Guard. Order! Order! <clears throat> Mr. Wright! Yes, Your Honor? You... Don't tell me you knew about your client's spying activities! Kind of, sort of, not well, really, yes. Well, uh, he just says, sort of. <laughs> sort of is not an acceptable answer, Mr. Wright! See, you are confused, Mr. Wright. You're probably thinking, but I have the camera that was in the stuffed bear's eye. Yes! Yeah! What's going on? Well, this camera that I have is not the same one. Last night, I searched the victim's house on a hunch. Using this. Aw, gummies bug you. Bug <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> G gum shoes bug sweeper is what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, Gumshoe's Bug Sweeper. That's what she meant. <clears throat> Gumshoe's Bug Sweeper. Oh, Lord. By the way, Mr. Wright, the defendant's fingerprints were found on this camera. Mr. Man on Guard's fingerprints are on, are on there? Well, Phoenix, it looks like those cameras were hidden all over the place, huh? What am I supposed to say to that evidence? I think this is the end. No! Fairly obvious that Mr. Ongard learned of the suicide note through this. Crap. He was watching the victim all along. He got me good this time. I don't have anything to counter that. Boop. Hey, hey, now what's that lawyer thinking? Mommy, is that the guy who killed the bad guy? Bad killer man. <laughs> His food is just, ew, nasty. <laughs> Phoenix? Yes, Chief? Have you figured out what you're going to do next? Nope. <laughs> what am I going to do next? Does running away like a frightened child work? I know it seems like Mr. Edgeworth is very close to putting the lid on this case, but in his eagerness to prove his point, he forgot one very important thing. Yeah, could you just tell me? Yeah, what, what, what is it, Mia? There is a piece of evidence that he really should investigate. Something he should investigate? I would really hate to see the good professor get scolded. Professor. Prosecutor get scolded. <laughs> professor Edgeworth. <Edwin. laughs> For not remembering to look into the item when he had the chance. Why are you speaking in riddles all of a sudden? Yeah, I know, Mia G, just tell me. I mean, this is not a very, like, it's a, we have a very critical situation going on here. I think we've been through this before. Yes. All right, I think this time we finally understand everything. Well, Mr. Wright, we don't, you don't have any further objections, do you? Uh... What is this piece of evidence that uh, Mia's talking about? Can I figure out what it is that still needs to be looked at, or should I let it go? No, present Or maybe I should just have her tell us! <laughs> I have an objection, Your Honor. So it's kind of like lackluster. It's like, I have an objection. Yep. Hmm. That was the weak. Uh, see, there we go. I, that was the weakest, obje weakest objection I've ever heard. Heard, Mr. Wright. Well, given our Better? circumstances. <laughs> right, Your Honor, the defense has no intentions of letting us go so easily. You are beginning to sound desperate. Oh. That's just your imagination, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, this is not like you at all. Hmm. In your eagerness to prove your point, you've forgotten one very important thing. Hey, isn't that what I just said? Shut up. But you didn't tell us! You didn't want to tell us, so you shut I, up, Exactly! Why, why are you gonna get- why are you gonna get mad? <laughs> so, you're telling me that I forgot something. You're so close with Edgeworth. But there's something you really should examine about this piece of evidence. And what's crazy that you kind of really wouldn't think about this. Because you're like, uh, what? But you want to present her note, for reasons being here in a second. That is Miss Impact's suicide note, right? Hmm. 
Who knows? What? I mean, sure, this suicide note was found inside this bear. But this bear was in my possession until a few moments ago. Which means... The handwriting on a suicide note has yet to be analyzed! Oh! So! As to whether this pivotal piece of evidence was really written by Mr. Max or not... ...has yet to be even remotely confirmed! Oh my gosh, he's right! Mr. Wright, you can't seriously be suggesting- Mr. Wright! You... Are you saying the suicide note is fake? Miss Andrews, you were the one who tried to pin this murder on Mr. On Guard. Who's to say you didn't create a fake suicide note and put it into this bear? Ugh. How dare you! Your Honor, the defense is in indiscriminately accusing the witness again. There's no evidence linking the witness to the suicide note whatsoever. But if it is a fake, then the witness is the only person who could have made it! What? Recall the witness's testimony concerning this figurine. The only person other than the victim who could solve this puzzle is the witness herself! Ugh. And there goes her glasses again. Miss Andrews! You wrote this note, didn't you? You wrote it so you could use it to frame man on guard! I... I did no such thing. Right? If you're going to pronounce the suicide note a fake, then show this court some evidence to support your theory. Mr. Mr. Edgeworth, you were the one, per one who presented this scrap of paper was as evidence. That means the burden of proof lies with you, their prosecution. <laughs> That's enough! Oh. Mr. Edgeworth, can you confirm this handwriting on, on, on the suicide note? It's as the defense has stated. The handwriting has yet to be analyzed. If that's the case, it seems that yet again we have reached a point where the verdict is impossible. Imposs- It's impossible! Uh, that's what I just said! This isn't good, Phoenix. The judge is gonna carry his trial over one more day. We ain't got one more day! <laughs> I don't think Miles will be physically be able to make it another day. I didn't want to have to do this, but I don't have a choice. I request that both the prosecution and defense further investigate. No! Handwriting analysis uh, might, but there's just one liar trying to buy more time. And God is guilty. Look, any of you can tell you that. I think we've reached the end of the line. Oh, guilty, 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 guilty. 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 <gasps> did you say gefilte fish? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I just think of that stupid blooper from Rush Hour 2, I believe. Yep. Gefilte fish? <laughs> go filter go, go fish. fish! This is white people food. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. What the hell is gefilte fish? I've never had that before. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, so, what, 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 what is that sound? It's been going on for quite a while. <laughs> it's Gumshoe! <gasps> pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Oh, Gumshoe! Uh, oh no. What is with him? What's with that sigh? Where's Maya? What happened to the killer? He, uh, he got away. <gasps> what? I'm sorry, pal, I really am! I don't know what to say besides I'm sorry! I wish there was some way to make it up to you, I really do! Anyway, what's going on? We found his hideout, pal! But, the two of them are already gone! This is terrible. I'm gonna keep looking for them, pal! Don't you worry! I just need a little more time! But... Don't tell me we don't... we don't... Uh, we don't have any more! Oh god, no! Yeah, 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 the fish! <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that? They're calling for his head! That's right, I, I can't... For us to come this far and... Oh! What is it? 
Let me talk to Mr. Edgeworth. I, I can't do that. Mr. Wright, would, would you prefer, please get a hold of yourself? Yes, Your Honor. I'm about to end today's proceedings. You may take your phone calls after. Hold on, Your Honor. Edgeworth, catch! <laughs> a little twirl transition. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth? Please, you gotta buy us some more time! Court is in session. <gasps> Skinny, you might want to bleep this. <gasps> oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Honor. You were saying? Mr. Wright, this is a court of law. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but... I'm reluctant to do this, however... It appears I have no choice but to suspend proceedings until tomorrow. No! I... This time I really can't do anything. Ugh. Court is now adjourned for the day. No... I can't... Maya! Edgeworthy, oh. do... What? Wait, what? Excuse me, huh? Please wait, Your Honor. Ed Edgeworth? What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? I humbly request another 30 minutes of your honor's time. For what purpose? We can perform the necessary tr tests on this piece of evidence in that time. Hmm. But can you really obtain your results in 30 minutes? Yes. I believe we can, your honor. But wouldn't it be better if we adjourn for today and then reconvene tomorrow? 30 minutes. Please, your honor. That's all I'm asking for. Please! Please, Your Honor! Very well. At the prosecution's request, this court will now take a 30-minute recess. Oh, thank but God. be advised, I will not allow another recess today. I'm not sure if this is helping or hurting us. The court will now take its final recess of the day. Right? Well, what's going on with Maya's situation? The killer. It looks like he got away again. 30 minutes? We can't find her in that time. Ugh. <gasps> Gumshoe! Report! Oh, uh, uh, is that Mr. Edgeworth? We don't have time, just spit it out! Right! It looks like we just missed him, sir. But the killer left a few things behind by accident and is rushing away. A few things. Can we use any of them as evidence? Oh, I thought you asked, pal. I got the things he left with me right now. I'm on my way over. Oh, really? That's odd. Any items like that are usually sent to the crime lab first. We don't have time to wait for those guys, sir. When those guys weren't looking, I swiped the stuff and ran. What? Well, I'm not a detective anymore, so I had to. I'm really sorry, sir, but I gotta put the law on hold for now. Aww. Sounds bad. I hope he doesn't get in too much trouble over this. With my hunk of junk car, I'd say I'll be there in about 20 minutes, sir. Don't worry, I'll be there. Wait for me. All right, so just get here in one piece. I'm on a mission. No one can stop me now, sir. No one. I'm pulling out all the stops and running every red light. No, Gumshoe, that's not a good idea. No. I haven't left by a murderer, huh? Maybe there's something among them that will be decisive enough to end this. Hopefully. <gasps> um. What? What was that? Hey, what's wrong? Detective Gumshoe, answer me! No one can stop... I'm... <gasps> Gumshoe! What happened? Sound like he had an accident. I'm guessing his cell phone broke as well. Oh my gosh. What was he thinking? We've got to hurry and call for help. But we have no idea where he is. His cell phone is broken and he, is, he wasn't driving a patrol car, so no radio either. Also, if we don't get to those items before they do. The police will take possession of them. No, we can't let that happen. Well, if there's a way we can find out where he is, then we can stand a chance. 
Why, oh, why did Gumshoe have to get into an accident now? Is there any way to find out exactly where he is at the moment? Uh, <gasps> yes, there is a way! <sighs> it's kind of a funny way, but it's, it works! Well, that's right, there is a way! What? How? I'm sure we can find out where Detective Gumshoe is uh, through this. Through this. And it's a person, because remember what she calls him? Scruffy! And you know what she put on him, right? Yes! Why are you bringing up Francisca at a time like... Because you oh, need to... I see. There you go. I'll try to get in contact with her. The chances are slim, but she's all we have. Yay! Francisca. Will she even want to help us? Yes! Edgeworth. What is it? I don't have any right to judge anyone after ever again. I know my client is guilty. But what I'm doing now, I'm putting the guilt onto someone totally innocent and using the evidence to do so. It might be my turn to say defense attorney Phoenix Wright chooses death. Oh, jeez. Right. It doesn't suit someone like you to cry useless tears. Whether you did your job well or not, that can only be seen after the verdict has been decided. The verdict. Is Prosecutor Rudgeworth here? Yes, Bailiff. There's a phone call for you, sir. They said it was extremely urgent. Probably finished with the handwriting analysis. I had to go take this call. In the meantime, think hard about what it is you must do. Oh, God, no! Okay. Well, that was intense. Yes. Yes, it was. Oh, so much has happened. God. And if, if memory serves me correct, this is uh, the final save point of the game, is it not? It is. Because this... Yep. Yep. Yep, it is. And we have a lot to do in the next coming episodes. So, be prepared, you guys. Yes, so it's it's time for like the final push to end this LP. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, yeah. thank you so very much for watching. And if no one's told you that they love you today, I do. Yay!